Um, today we will talk about the massive diamond cache that has been found in the Earth's interior. It's indeed one of the very important findings for the students from Earth Sciences and Geology background specifically and kind of those looking for contemporary issues. The concept is if we look onto the structure of Earth, we have the outermost layer which is the crust, we have the inner layer which is the mantle and then towards the center you have the core. Now uh, what we are talking today is about the cratonic rock. Now, uh, craton, uh, cratons basically, and these cratons are kind of geologically stable and old landforms are the features that are seen within the earth. These are polydeformed and mainly made up of metamorphic and crystalline rocks. The idea is this craton so far was considered to have only 1 to 2 percent of the diamond. Now, with the recent studies from MIT by Professor Fall, it shows that these cratons have the cratonic roots and these cratonic roots are kind of inverted mountains which are around 90 to 150 miles deep. Now in this depth you have nearly quadrillion tons of diamond that is seen. So however there cannot be any diamond rush as it happened in California. The sole reason being that the depth at which this diamond is found is too much and you cannot have a kind of drilling that is possible. The only way this diamond can come out is through the kimberlite pipes and these kimberlite pipes uh, basically are the pathways for the volcanic eruptions to take place from deep within the magma and these Kimberlite pipes are seen in the regions of Canada, Siberia, South Africa. The name has been de derived from Kimberley in South Africa. That's the first diamond mining town that's seen. Now, as we said, the cratons have around only 1 to 2 percent of the diamond that's seen, but these cratonic rocks are abundant with diamond reserves and how this was found was through the seismic speeds now there was seen it was seen that there were spikes in the seismic speed that was seen and sound as we know that when sound is traveling the speed of the sound varies with temperature the composition of the rock that's there and as a result when we talk about diamond it's basically a uh, form of carbon which is under high temperature and pressure. So what happens is the molecules are very closely packed up and when the molecules are very closely packed up the speed of the sound becomes much higher. So the research have shown that the speed of the uh, the speed of the sound in diamond is nearly twice as fast as it should be. So as a result it was discovered that the interior of the Cretans or the cratonic rocks which is considered uh, cratonic roots sorry which is considered as the deepest part of the cratons is full of diamonds which can come out through the kimberlite pipes in few of the millions of years uh, through a kind of volcanic explosion that could occur and indeed this is a kind of revolutionary breakthrough for the studies in earth sciences so we are expecting a series of new findings after this so stay tuned for further updates on current affairs section have a great day ahead